welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to be taking you guys on an in-depth tour of this new treehouse outpost now in the past i made a treehouse and i got quite a lot of comments saying that my treehouse was not indestructible and that it could be destroyed by trolls or the ground is shaking event so this is my response to those comments right here this is an unbreakable treehouse to natural causes and on top of that there are quite a lot of things that i want to show you throughout this build that are pretty awesome so let's go ahead and get right into it all right so i want to quickly describe to you guys why i consider this to be a troll proof base so first things first you can see that the kind of little harbor area here down at the bottom it's actually in the shape of a circle and that's because i used a mod called world edit to dig out this space and then i used that same mod to raise the center of the space up as tall as i could and you can see that is where the tree is placed so the tree itself is already in a very safe position but if i take a step back here and show you how the land works in this area you can see that we're on almost like a peninsula here at the edge of the forest so all i did to kind of add a second layer of protection is that i actually walled off this area from the rest of the forest and you can see if i go around behind that this wall is very tall it's maxed out at most of the points on it and no troll would ever be able to traverse this wall so, all right let's get started with the tour of the unbreakable treehouse and honestly i think the best place to start is down here below it there's actually a lot to show you guys for example we've got a little shipwreck here which is made just using dev commands all these little ship parts you can find within the directory so you can make one of these type of things yourself so first of all we've got a nice little canal which goes through there's a cool stone curved wall here kind of holding up the platform for the outdoor workshop you're going to go right past this stone curved wall down the canal to the docks and this is where the carves come through to drop off their cargo now there isn't really enough room here for large ships so if you come over the island here the little like mini island you can kind of call it you can see there's a bit of a larger dock for some larger boats to kind of drop off some cargo but let's go ahead and take a walk through this area you can see i have a little campfire kind of set up here and then you're going to hop onto the road and go down to the larger dock under a lamp post and over here we've got a storage cart to help you offload some things and then you've got the bridge over to the smaller dock the bridge is pretty sweet it's very simple but it definitely does the job for this space and that brings you like i said over to the smaller dock we can take a quick little walk underneath you can see we've got some lighting inside and then as we come around onto the smaller dock we've got a carve here dropping off some cargo maybe some guards here that could help unload or something uh, a little stone oven for them to do some cooking some honey they could eat and then we can head up the stairs into the outdoor workshop now first things first i want to point out the floor the floor of this workshop came out really cool it's almost like sun rays coming into this little covered area really love how those look we've pretty much just got kind of a crafting like workbench area we've got a forge table area don't even have to cover this up because it's all under the shade of the treehouse which is really cool um and yeah a nice little spot over here to sit and look at the views of the ocean the last thing i guess i would really want to point out is these little cubbies that i did into the wall where i added some different nature features i did another one over here these are actually some of my favorite parts of this little outdoor workshop i'm not sure why also the vines the lines of vines that i did but yeah that's it for the tour of the bottom let's go ahead and get into the tour of the treehouse all right so we're done down below let's head up top but as we head up top i do need to explain kind of how this works so first things first how do the staircases work the first staircase is very much just made to fit into the environment to try to wrap really nicely around this space the second staircase you're no longer wrapping around the environment and now what we're doing is just connecting doorway to doorway same for the third staircase doorway to doorway up here but at the third staircase you can see i kind of converted it into a grand staircase that was the idea at least and yeah so it's double wide and it goes 
all the way up to the top so that's kind of how the staircases work you can see that these bigger ones are they did need to be supported and connected into the tree which is pretty cool and the three structures themselves are all connected directly into the tree and you can see they have these diagonal supports but those are really just there for show once again there are some diagonal supports up here at the very top building but they're just there for show really all you need to make a tree house is just a straight line sticking out and then another one going through it and that was actually all i needed to support these tree houses uh, just one line going each direction uh, you can see I did the same thing even for this larger one I did have a little bit of a square on the center but that was more for aesthetics from the inside so yeah that's how this place works let's hop back down onto the staircase and actually take the tour so as we head up the staircase, we're going to enter the first building. The first building is really cool. I was messing around with different kind of shapes. It's almost like a star. It made the roof really cool, which is pretty much done exclusively with roof corners. And yeah, you know, this is just a unique little building. I'll take you guys inside. As you come in, you can kind of take off your coat and grab something to drink. And then you can go sit down at one of the tables for this uh, first build it's the most simple it's the smallest of the three builds and this is more just for hanging out and eating kind of hanging out with some friends maybe doing some partying or something this would be where you'd want to hang out you've got a 360 view going all the way around plenty of seating for everyone uh, storage for plenty of food and drinks you know just a nice cozy little place to hang out you can see i also made these little like tiki torch kind of things with standing torches and wards i think they look uh like they're supposed to go together in a way but maybe not maybe that's just me uh also up top we have a nice little chandelier which filled this space i think kind of perfectly just a little bit bigger than this and it would have been too much i think but yeah uh, just a nice little place to eat and enjoy the views here in the first building. So now let's head up the stairs. You go around into the second build. Now this build is more of a standard build. It's just a square, but you'll see that each of the walls are, are actually three layered walls and the roof itself also has some variations to add uh, some variety to the build. So let's go ahead and head inside. As we go inside, uh, I'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit here. You can see that this build is much bigger and has a lot more going on. This is going to be the storage room of the three uh, kind of builds that are connected to the treehouse. So that's why the entire top is lined in chests. And you can see here we've got a couple of little displays, little spot that you could sit and do some work. Uh, you know, just little labeled chests here and there, just kind of labeled with random things just, you know, for fun. But you could do that for whatever you have stored in each of the different chests. Over here, right as you walk in, you've got kind of like a little rug and then a little spot to sit and look out the window. But if you really want to enjoy the view, you come over here and look out this way. This little patio right here kind of thing. Absolutely love how this came out. Superb views right here sticking out the side. Love that and yeah just this build came together really nice it's more of a standard build uh, i just wanted to see what it would look like with a standard house kind of built into a tree house setting so yeah the, the i guess the only other thing i haven't showed you is this corner which is kind of like where you could plan a uh, voyage out to sea or plan your next journey over here you can see the three layered walls very easily and yeah let's go ahead and head upstairs up the grand staircase to the top of the build we're actually really high up here when you get to the top which is awesome it makes the views absolutely incredible so check this out this thing up here up top i'll be honest there was a lot of open space here at first but i came up with uh, a nice couple of ideas here which i think worked really well first of all as you come up the stairs we've got a little storage area here and then second, you've got kind of like a little area to sleep, bigger beds on the sides, bunk beds in the center, coat rack and chest for the bigger beds. You can see even here, here's some extra storage for kind of like the residential area up here. I don't know what you want to call it. There's a little table here. As we go around, there are more decorations next to the tree, which kind of fit the area that they're in. So storage for the sleeping area, a desk here because there's nothing really here. So it's just kind of a desk to do some work at. But then as we wrap around, you can see we've got a nice little food table here, food storage, a place to uh, kind of serve up some meat here 
trash cans on the sides and that's because there is the dining room right here behind love how this table display came out simple with the food nothing super fancy but enough to kind of really make it feel cozy and like you wouldn't mind kind of sitting down here and getting a bite to eat nice little cozy area here to enjoy the view now we can go ahead and head a little bit further around to kind of the workshop area up here up top we've got a forge table set up oh yeah don't forget the little cozy seating right here to enjoy the view but we've got a forge table set up we've got a workbench set up a little area to do some cooking and to do some smelting and of course on this side next to the tree is some storage for your workshop area and yeah um you know just a couple other little things i could show you we've got a little thing here which is supposed to kind of seem like a net so that you can't fall through uh we've got some trophies going all the way around you can see boar deer and neck which is kind of the starter trophies we then got some gray dwarf trophies skeleton trophies draugr trophies wolf related trophies i thought that was a cool little detail to kind of spruce the place up I will show you the final thing that I have up here, which is the diving board. You can see that this thing is, it, you gotta be careful. You gotta be really careful. And in fact, it says winners only, which means that I actually, unfortunately, have not yet used the diving board. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. And you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. But yeah, all jokes aside, that is that for the tour all right that is that for the video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did maybe leave a like maybe even subscribe don't forget to check me out on tiktok instagram twitter and reddit if you want to get more involved more coming soon and of course as always have a good one